All right, friends, I made uh, quite a few of these homemade crawdad traps right here. Uh, we're gonna head out to Rose Canyon Lake tomorrow, Mount Lemmon, and um, I'm gonna set this thing up. So I'm gonna give you a little tutorial here on how I built this thing, right? I even got this GoPro right here mounted. See if I can get some pretty cool footages of them crawling in there. Okay, so here I have a rubber Right here, so I have a rubber band, little door opener. Open that up, I can slide my food in here, the bait, okay. Then I'll go ahead and lock her back down. Okay, now the idea is the crawdad is gonna crawl up in through here fall down this fall down into the the trap and here you have a little swinging door where it doesn't swing back the other way so it gets trapped inside there and here I got a clip that if I undo that I can just pull this thing down and empty it out so this trap has another port on this side they're gonna crawl up and here's that fence here how good you guys can see that but uh, this side is fixed, so there's no door, there's no swinging on this side. And that's it, guys. We'll see how good of a job I did and see how well it works. All right, friends, today we're heading up to the mountains up there. There's a lake called Rose Canyon, somewhere at the top of that thing, and we're gonna go catch some crawfish. So here I have my three homemade crawfish traps. I went and bought the uh, the rabbit cage stuff at Lowe's and folded her up and I made it my own little contraption. We'll see how that goes. Um, I got some bait, just packed a small lunch in here, my waders, some GoPro stuff. I got my drone with me. And I bought a little fishing rod here just to maybe catch, catch uh, some trout. And um, yeah, follow along and see how I do. We are taking the fam bam to Mount Lemon to catch some crawdads. What's up, y'all? Hello. Hello. You guys take forever to get ready. My goodness. I'm gonna stop by and get some EGs for the girls. This is why Tucson is so cool. Because literally 40 minutes the other way, you're in wine country. 40 minutes up here, and I'm in pine country. So that's awesome. That's what I love about it. All right, we've made it to the lake. Family's camped up there. Hey, fam. Hello. All right, so. I got my homemade. Let's uh, let's see if we can catch anything climbing into the uh, the trap. Today I'm gonna give him a special treat. I'm gonna give him some Otoro bluefin tuna. All right, we'll see how that attracts them. Ooh. BFT. Let's shove that thing down there. Just close my trap. Okay. Now I'm gonna get my rope hit the record button okay it's recording all right let's see let's see what we can come up with let's launch it Piece of bluefin tuna. I'm gonna launch it more towards the reeds here and I think that's where they're gonna be hiding.
right by this log here. Ooh, look at all the oil from the tuna. That should attract some. Number one. <clears throat> okay, in trap number two, I brought some Kirkland bacon. Okay, now I got my bacon in here. I'm gonna launch this one on the other side of these reed patches right here. So we'll find out what works better. We got the tuna, the bacon, and I got some mahi mahi. Oh, crazy! Look at all those tadpoles, huh? So many of them. Wow! What? Never seen so many tadpoles. Really? Yeah. Huh? Uh, crawdads? Yeah? Yeah. A lot of them? I don't know. It's my first time. Oh, okay. <laughs> my first time. I just built these traps the other day, so I'm getting ready to try them out. Oh, look at all these. These water dogs are. Oh, look. Time to launch it. All right, got my trap right there. We'll find out. How do you know? You just come back later. Yeah, I'll check I'll check it on my way back out. <laughs> okay, trap number three, I'm using a piece of mahi mahi. Just to see, you know, what they like more. It's still frozen solid, so I have to uh, cut it down. I got a GoPro mounted onto the cage out there, so hopefully, uh, get some. Cool. Yeah, yeah, I got two. Yeah. Cool. Uh, a piece of mahi mahi. Oh, that's expensive. Hey. <laughs> $40 pound fish, you catch a $4 pound fish. <laughs> Three crud. <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh, there you go. So it fits now. Boom. All right, I got the Molly Molly stuffed in there. Now I'm gonna go launch this by the spillway. Saw some deeper water over there, so hopefully, hopefully we'll do something. Hmm. Uh, mahi Mahi trap going down.
very deep. I'm not feeling it. I don't think crawdads are that deep. Alright, so I got my crawdad set up over here by the spillway. Now it's just a waiting game. Just playing with the new toy, guys. Getting some cool footages for you. See that, Joe? Oh. I dare you, double dog dare you to eat him right now. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh little guy, there you are. Joe literally called it kill. Cute. I don't think she can That's eat it. That's cool. <gasps> oh, you lost it. Hey, no, I got him, I got him, I got him. Look, I caught this guy. Babe. Oh, what is that? It's oh. huge. Oh my god. Is that real? He's soft right now. Wait, wait, wait. wait. He, just, he just, uh, he was just a shed did, or yeah. molted or? Touch him. Look how soft he is. Got a craw daddy. Craw daddy. He just molted. Look, he's very soft. Hey, okay, touch it. I can't touch it. Touch it. Is is it is a, a, oh, claw soft. Yeah. How come? This thing, because they, they have to shed to grow into their new layer. Shell? Yeah, shed or molt. What is it called? Molt? This thing battered, deep fried, I'm telling you, it'll be amazing. This guy is completely soft. If I was at home right now, I'd roll him in some uh, some batter. And I'll eat the whole thing completely. Dad, don't say that. Oh, He's it still is. Alive. I'm gonna let this guy go. But look, look at the size of this guy. Look at this guy. That's how big he is. You guys gonna eat him? Okay. Probably not enough, but look, he just molted. Why does he look so crushed? He, oh, he, he, he yeah. He's about he, to die. No, he just molted. What's that mean? That means uh, when they, they get out of their shell, shell see how soft he is? Oh, molten. Oh. Yeah. Look at that. You want to feel him? See? Ooh. Good. Cool, That's huh? Crazy, man. Yeah. That is weird. I would have I would have tossed <laughs> deep, it. Deep fry him, him whole. <laughs> All right. It's uh, crawdad retrieval time. Time to head home. I got the whole army with me back here. They're going to help me haul. All this crawfish that we're gonna catch. You guys ready? You guys ready to haul it back? But before that, I wanna show uh, Nancy all these tadpoles here. Look at that, babe. You see all that? Look, how cool is that? You zoom in on them? Oh, I did. They're so big. Yeah. All right, come on, baby. This is the bacon. Bacon, let's go, bacon. What you got? Hold them, hold them. Oh, hold them. Look at that. All right. That Look is that. that is bacon. Did you just drop one? I think a rock or something. Oh. It could have been because they were hanging on to a uh, on the bottom. Other oh, feet. On the babies. The, the babies one falling through. Look at that. Oh, Ho homemade trap. Little bit of Vietnamese redneck ingenuity. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. We'll leave that there. Okay. Um, I got another trap over here. You guys want to come with me? Crazy. 
crazy how big they are. Oh, they're huge. I thought they were going to be tiny too and then I saw them. Then you would think we would see more frogs, but... Where did you go? This is the Mahi Mahi. Not as much. They didn't like the Mahi? Huh? They didn't like the Mahi? I think it's more because the water's deep. Deeper over there? The area, yeah. So did you catch at least 15? I think I'm borderline. See how the other one does. He's crawling out. Right there, you see it? Right there. Oh, you got me. Behind you. Oh, baby, you need help? How are they coming out? I didn't take them out. They can call through if it's not in water. Oh. Hi guys. Just putting the products in. That's dirty. All right, guys. This is the finale right here. The last one. This one's got the BFT in there. We'll see if they like the tuna. Bacon was the best? Bacon was the best. Bacon's the best. Maybe it was just the location? I think it was, it could have been the location because it had more rocks over there. Yeah. Can you reuse the tuna? I don't know if I just throw it away. See the GoPro here? Okay. See here, I gotta undo my clip. Swing the cage out. Boom. He's edible. This guy's edible. This one. I don't know what this guy's too small. I'll let him go. I'll let these guys go. Oh. oh. All right. Ow. Ah. Look. Got me. I'm trying to let you go, dude. You literally just threw it, brother. There you go. Oh, my goodness. Look at this guy. Look how big he is. Oh, my God. Oh. Mm. Big one, big one. Oh, these are edible. Keeper size. Yeah, the bacon one is not the good size. Yeah, maybe it's the area, but that bacon is doing pretty good. Yeah, bacon for sure. Bacon for the win. That's a big guy. Ooh, look at this guy. <laughs> Alright, that was only, we got here about 11. That's only like an hour, two hour, two hour soak. Not even. Not even now. I think huh? we got, no, I think we were up here like 11.30. Yeah, okay, not even a two hour soak and we got like a snack size pouch. So I'm pretty happy with that. Next time I come back, I know where to set up and. Uh, Would you use again? Great, out of 10. I would definitely use the bacon. Bacon is by far catching the most fish. It's bacon. probably cheaper it's than... It's cheaper than bluefin, but... Bacon's a fish. Hey. How would, you, how would you rate it? You have to be like 10 crawdads out of 10. 10 crawdads <laughs> out of... 9.9 .9 out of 10 for the bacon. Oh my God. That poor last crawdad. <laughs> we only spent less than two hours out here, so next time I'm going to come back, I know where to set up. So, hiking our way back out to the vehicle. Happy hike out. Happy hike out. Oh, is the mom in there too? No. Or is that two babies? It's just two babies, yeah. Or is the mom on the back side? No, those are the babies. Oh my god. Hey, you got the camera, you can zoom in. I don't want to get too close to it. All right, just made it back from the lake. Um, looks like I got maybe a little bit good enough for a little snack here. We'll cook her up and uh, 
See how these compare to the Louisiana red crawfish there. Look at this guy. This guy's really big. Ooh. Okay, it'll be a quick boil. This is just gonna be my quick version, guys. So I got Minimate orange juice. Cup of cold water. Got a little bit of crawfish seasoning here. Just got about a quarter bag left. We'll dump it all in there. Gonna add some sh shallots there and just some mashed up garlic. More garlic powder. More garlic powder. Some of this stuff right here. Some of the Cajun two-step. Mix her on up. Ooh, smelling good. Woo! Bring it all, bring all that marinade to a boil. Now, I'm gonna add my crawfish here. I'm gonna wait till that boil back up again. Once they come to a boil like this, and now I'm gonna shut everything off and let it simmer for let it simmer for about five minutes, okay? So boom. Turn everything off. I'm gonna let it sit in there for about five minutes. We're gonna take it out and give it a taste test. Joe, you wanna grab it and just kind of pull the abdomen out like this? Yep. Ooh, there you go. Yeah, perfect. Now most people suck on the head, you wanna suck the head? Um, it's up to you. You suck the juices out of there, okay? And then hit, look, you grab it and you you press it to crack it, and then you peel this around, like peeling off a shrimp. Look at that. Is that it's poopy? That's called the, the brain. There's a fat and everything. So, right. So once you peel that off, look, pinch. you can pinch the tail like this, and just pull it out. Now, people can pull out this poop tube right here. I eat it, but you can just pull that out too. Oh my god. You're doing great. Come on. You guys can cheers on this one when you're ready. Oh my god, where's the broth? No broth. Here, you can put a little bit of broth here. Okay, well that's his tail. Mm -hmm. Yep, go ahead and peel it out. Oops, that's... No, that's fine. See just what I mean? Here. It's a lot of hard work. It's not hard work, Haley. Maybe it's just because I'm lazy. That's eatable? Yep, all oh, that's edible. That's eatable. the fat content. Yeah, it's pretty much... That's the fat. Spray. That's good. That's the best part. Really? That's where all the flavor's at. Okay, how do I... You just oh peel, peel the legs off. What if I don't like it? Then spit it, spit it out. I think I will. It tastes like shrimp. It literally, yeah, it's just shrimp. Or there lobster. There we go, that's what I needed. Yep. I think. Oh, almost. What am I doing wrong? Yeah, yeah, there you go. Ooh. Here's here, a little bit of juice right there. Oh, okay. That's right under my... Okay. Yeah. There you go. Just grab that. Peel, peel it all, all the way off. Yeah, there you go. Boom. You got it out. Oh, that was big. Okay. So now dipping it. Dipping in the juice. Hold on here. Dipping in the juice. Cheers, y'all. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Tell me that ain't good. Right, See? Mm -hmm. good. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. Next time we'll go catch some more. That is really nice. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta... How many, um, what is it? Crayfish uh, out of crayfish. 9.9 .9 <laughs> out of cronas. <laughs> out of 10 <laughs> Or sorry. 9.9 .9 out of 10. Okay, <laughs> better. Alrighty, y'all have a good one. All right, guys. Look, boom. This is only two hours, so the next next time I go out there, we're gonna catch a lot more. So, um, yeah, they taste um, very similar to the ones you get in Louisiana, the red ones, but they taste really good. So, very similar, delicious. All right, guys, thanks for following along today. Uh, hope you liked the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.